electrical systems, pneumatics, propulsion systems, flight control, and propellants. Let's listen in as launch conductor Dylan Rice performs the final polling of the team. Status check to proceed with terminal count, Atlas systems, propulsion. Go. Hydraulics. Go. Pneumatics. Go. LO2. Go. Water. Go. Centaur systems, propulsion. Go. Pneumatics. Go. LO2. LH2. Go. Hashgas. Electrical systems, airborne. Go. Ground. Go. Facility. Go. RFFTS. Go. Flight control. Go. DC cube. Go. Com. Go. Timer. Go. Umbilicals. Go. ECS. Go. Redline monitor. Go. Quality. Go. Op safety manager. Go. ULA safety officer. Go. Vehicle system engineer. Go. Anomaly chief. ACS go. Range coordinator. Clear to proceed. Launch director. Launch vehicle is ready to launch. 28 seconds. 25. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Sippers. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We have ignition. Thank you. 
25% its liftoff weight. Coming up on our 5G throttle segment. Blue space cooldown is underway. This is Atlas Mission, Mission Control at T plus 5 minutes 30 seconds. Marty Malinowski just confirmed the successful completion of the early phase of today's flight and all systems continue to operate nominally. The mission is currently in the first of two Centaur engine burns. Our next event, Centaur main engine cutoff, will occur in approximately 9 minutes. I'm joined now by Captain Kristen Cooper of SMC's Remote Sensing Directorate. Um, thanks for being here today, Captain. It's such a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. Of course. So we've just witnessed the successful liftoff of the fourth satellite in the Sibirs constellation. Can you explain a little bit about Sibirs and where it fits into the Air Force's space portfolio? Sure. So the Space Based Infrared Systems, or Sibirs, is part of the Remote Sensing Systems Directorate and is led by Colonel Dennis Bythewood. Each of our geosynchronous Earth orbit, or geo satellites, hosts a payload which contains both a scanning sensor and a staring sensor. The scanning sensor continuously scans the Earth to provide 24-7 global strategic missile warning and missile defense capabilities. The data from the scanner also contributes to our theater missions and our intelligence missions. The scanning sensor contributes to all four of those mission areas as well, but its highly accurate and agile pointing and control system can focus in on any one specific part of the Earth rather than scanning it continuously like the scanner. So how does Sibirs fit into the Air Force's missile warning constellation? So we just launched GeoFlight Force, and now we have four geosatellites in space. We also have two payloads in HEO, or highly elliptical orbit, which have similar sensors to the scanner on the geos. With the four geo satellites and the two HEO payloads, that makes up our Sibirs constellation. And they were designed to eventually replace the legacy DSP or Defense Support Program satellites, which is. 